I'd like to welcome you uh, to a series, hopefully, of videos about drawing, painting, and talking about drawing and painting. I'm using a 0.9 millimeter mechanical pencil on cold press paper, watercolor, moleskin sketchbook, size five and a half inches by three and a half inches. Here I am roughing everything out and trying to close in on a drawing I like. In the future I may use a photo reference or at least use a pose that I am more familiar with because this drawing slash painting turns out just fine in the end but I can see a lot of things that I can improve on using a 0.5 millimeter micron pen I'm defining what I'm going to work on at this point I really like how the drawing looks and I'm excited to do so. These are my favorite parts right here. Rendering faces, all the details of the face. Everyone is composed of the same things but we all look so different. Thinking is fun. You just kind of do it and then you're done. It's kind of a must-do step to ink and then erase the pencil underneath so that the graphite doesn't muddy up your watercolor. She needs a background to lay against so I turned that blankness into some sort of wall situation. And that chin needed a little bit of help, so I gave it some more structure there with the white gouache paint. This is where all the good stuff starts happening. I love the point between black and white and going in with full color. I'm just going to let this play out for a bit before you hear back from me. So at this point I have a pretty good base for the paint to come. 
And for those of you that are curious about the exact colors I am using, they are as follows. Cerulean Blue, Ultramarine Deep, Permanent Modern Lake, Cadmium Red Medium, Cadmium Yellow Deep, Cadmium Yellow Lemon, Permanent Green, Viridian, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna, Sepia, and Haynes Gray. So I would say this is a pretty classic, straightforward, simple subject. Just a girl kind of laying back. Um, and for cuteness sake, she's got her eyes closed. And for extra cuteness, she has blue hair, which is very cute. And um, I guess it's the cerulean blue that gives it that sort of light, light blue color. And it's very vibrant and it's just, it's one of my favorite colors. Also, I forgot to mention that I also used a lot of gouache paint, titanium white gouache in Winsor Newton brand. It allows me to tint all my colors for one, and two, it, it gives me a level of opacity that you can't get with just watercolor. This just means that I can add white to each of my colors and turn them into lighter versions of themselves. It also means that I can layer the lighter colors on top of colors underneath and they're very opaque meaning they're not see-through which is very handy for correcting things. Uh, back when I was adding the white gouache to the chin, you know, I pretty much covered what was there before which was black ink. So you'll see me come back to the hair a few times and I'm basically pushing the darkness and bringing the light forward, adding contrast. Here you can see that I am adjusting a bit of the mouth, the colors, a bit of the shape, uh, further rendering it to be more to my liking. The last few years, I've thoroughly enjoyed watching channels like Drawing with Waffles, The Average Artist, and Chris Hong, just to name a few. And they just leave me really inspired to pursue my own efforts, and they make me want to draw and paint and share that.